All right, this is our project today. It's just a fun sign. Uh, we keep some chickens, and so uh, we're going to hang this down at our barn. We obviously wouldn't sell a dozen eggs for 25 cents, so it's kind of just a retro uh, sign like you might find in an old feed store. But um, this is made on my CNC machine, and uh, this time I actually remembered to put the contact paper on, which makes uh, painting all of this, oh my gosh, just so much easier. All right, let's get in the shop and get started. This has got all our pieces cut and the edges joined so that they'll match up. And I got a couple of pipe clamps here and a piece of paper down to keep the uh, glue off my bench. And let's see if we can get this glued up. Now I'll just place this on here to make sure that they stay flat. It's just a piece of oak. It's got some. It's got some packing tape on it to keep the glue from sticking. All right, that's got this all glued up. Um, and these strips of I, I put a clamp at the joint of each board, and that evened them up really nicely. So this should glue up nice and flat. All right, we're just going to let this sit. Remember. Uh, this long piece in the middle, that's for those little ears that go out the sides of the circle. All right, we'll come back after this is good and dry. All right, here's the cutout. And you can see right here in the middle, I've got a little place i got to fill because I set it up incorrectly. But anyway, I can fill, I'm going to paint it so I can get that filled and sand it out and you won't see it. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to get it sanded. I'm going to round the edge over. I'm going to paint it. Uh, and then I'll put it back on here and do all the carving. Um, and doing the painting first will uh, help me to be able to uh, paint it, paint in the detail more easily. Got it sanded nice and flat, and I've marked my center hole. I took a nail and just sort of kind of drilled a, a little dent right there so that once I get it painted, I can find the center again. Um, so all right, now I'm gonna get the, the uh, base coat of paint on here. so I can paint the other side I'm going to go ahead and put these are just some pieces of wood with a nail driven through from the back just gives me something to elevate this up on all right I got it painted and I've got I've gone over it with a, just a flat block of wood with some sandpaper on it and just lightly sand it to make sure that it's, the surface is pretty much flat. There's no little nubs of uh, paint sticking up. And now what I'm going to do is cover it with uh, contact paper and that'll make it a whole lot easier when I go to paint it. Okay, so that's got it applied. You can see right here uh, where I didn't have enough width. I just overlapped it about an inch. It doesn't matter. Um, and the next thing I'm going to do is take this roller, which is, this is a uh, flooring roller. But you can take any kind of a roller and just give it a really good pressing. Alright, so that's got our contact paper applied. And the next thing we're going to do is get it put onto the CNC machine. Alright, I got it loaded on the CNC machine and my router is uh, centered on the center of the sign. Since this thing isn't square, um, I decided to use the center point as my zero. And then I've just got it fastened down in the corners. Well, not corners, but on the four edges with uh, those little clamps and we'll get it started. All right, that's got it all cut out. Next comes the painting. 
All right, so we've already started painting some of this uh, before I uh, remembered to video it. So uh, just let me zoom you in here. And normally these edges look really good. Uh, the uh, contact paper is it's kind of uh, rough along the edges, but it doesn't matter. The wood looks good underneath there. And what you want to do is just kind of make sure, go around the edge, if you see anything that looks loose, be sure you press that down real good beforehand. And then, just take your brush. I'm using a brush that's got a little point to it, kind of helps me get into those corners. And so I'm just going to take my paint and just start putting it in there. Just like that. And you can you can get outside your lines. Now the fun part, we get to peel off all the contact paper. All right, that's got it all peeled off and my edges look really good. The only bleed out I've got is a little bit right here, but I can take a little of the base color and touch that up. The rest of it looks really good. All right, I've got a high gloss finish on here and I just used a Minwax polyurethane high gloss. And the last thing I've got to do to this is get a hook put on the back of it to hang it. And I actually want the hook to come up above it uh, so you can kind of see it. Um, just kind of the look I'm going for. So I'm going to get this measured out and uh, get it put on. Now we're going to get a hook made uh, like this one to hang our sign with. And we're using a bender. Uh, that I make in another video. Um, so if you're interested in how to make this, it's out there. And I'm also not going to spend much time. I'm just going to kind of fast forward through making this because uh, I've got a video that shows you how to make hardware on this same thing. So. Now to find the center of this could be a little tricky. But I'm going to measure the center here, which is uh, 22 and a half, so that's 11 and a quarter. Put a mark. I'll do the same down here. Then connect those lines. Should give me the center of it up here. Now I want that hook to be just proud of it. I want to make sure I'm not going to go through my sign. It's going to be good. All right, that's got our sign finished. Um, I hope you enjoyed this project. Thank you for watching.